Well, this is a, uh, an unveiling of a, an art piece that is done by Alistair Morris, Morrison, a photographer. And uh, him and, and a guy called Noel Meehan uh, partnered up and they have put this, uh, I don't know what you call it, a collection of photographs together of 75 of the most famous rock and roll people in, in the world. They've, they've travelled the whole world and it's amazing. Uh, that, that, that we, we sent out a request to people. This is for charity, it's for Teenage Cancer Trust in Britain and Teen Cancer America in the States. So we sent out requests to everyone we knew, the begging letters, you know, offers they can't refuse, and 75 of them said yes, and, and this is the unveiling of it. It's, a, it's an artwork uh, that it, 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 it turns on itself and it can, kind of plays music from the people in the, in the photographs. So it's a kind of interesting piece, and it will be auctioned off as an art piece, and we hope to make over a million dollars on it. So there you go. It's mad. I mean, you go from John Bon Jovi in New York um, in uh, freezing weather, you go across to, um, to see Eddie Vedder in Seattle, snowing, and then you come to see Iggy Pop in Miami and it's 30 degrees, so, you know, what do you pack? I mean, it's as simple as that sometimes. It's not about, you know, you're going and you're doing the pictures. But I think what was nice is that because it was a busking theme and because I wanted a few down and outs, within that you know i was i was finding these blankets for people to wear and iggy pop was was always going to take his shirt off so i knew that he, he could he could do that but then ringo did it and donovan did it and you know it just becomes nice that they understand that the whole thing is very important and i think you know once you start to get that you start to begin to see how the whole thing is going to be put together but you know then i've been sitting at a computer for probably two months Still traveling, still photographing. In the last week, I photographed Ronnie Wood, Mark Knopfler, John Oates from Wall and Oates, uh, Mick Hutnell, um, you know, it, uh, Tom Jones. It just, it just went on and on and on. So it just, it's, it's, it's a privilege, really, to have so many of them be part of something. And I think, I think they are so. Their friends are no longer with us. In the last 25 years, last three years, 25 of them have died. So, you know, Tom Petty recently, Fats Domino. Um, it's just we wanted to honour as many of those great musicians and music in general as we possibly could. We had a day off, and you know Roger asked us to go, you know, to come down. I said I have a day off. Yeah. So I, you know, we, we Glasgow, London, London, Birmingham tomorrow. In fact, they planned it especially for you. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, I've known Roger forever. You know, from 1968, we go back way a long time. So, you know, if he's got a if he's got a thing, I'll do it for him. Well, with a few survivors still standing up, it's um, that's very good. Yeah. No, it's a beautiful piece. I've just sneaked. Sneaked a little uh, look. I think Alistair's a great photographer, and uh, you know my family, like most families, have been touched by cancer. So I think it's a, it's a wonderful thing that Roger's doing. So I've seen bits of it, and I know Alistair well, and he's got um, he's a genius when it comes to this stuff, you know. So what I've seen is a little snippet of it, and it looks very renaissance and groovy, you know, and it's very muted and very classy you know so uh, I'm very I'm just honored to be a part of it you know and with all these luminaries you know Well, it was freezing, 
so I turned up in um, a sort of flying jacket, you know, with a big sheepskin collar, and I thought, this, you know, he's not going to want this, but he went, perfect. And uh, he shot me in my flying jacket, and uh, he sort of melted me in somewhere in the corner, <laughs> you know, in the, in the picture. I'm just, you know, I'm really happy to be part of it, that's all, you know. Well, Alistair Morrison came to Mallorca, where I, is where I was, and it was only about six weeks ago. And uh, he looked at me in our mountain retreat in Mallorca, and he said, uh, have you got a, a, a robe or a cape of some kind? I said, Linda, my wife, is here, my sunshine supergirl. She said, yeah. And she brought out a, a, a Laney cashmere throw, and he said, put it on the shoulders because I think you're going to need to be classic with no kind of fashion that looks 20th century or 16th century. He wanted it ancient. And so I threw this on and he took a photo in about five minutes against one of the walls. So I haven't seen it, so I don't know. Pretty impressive, isn't it? It's pretty good. You know, we were on the road when we took the picture. So, uh, you know, when you're traveling, it's one of those things where you have to like, okay, you gotta put a room together now and take the shot and everything. But you know, the charity thing is something that I think when you get 50 years in the business, you do as much as you can. You know, you do as many things as you can, because I mean, if your name helps out kids, great. You know, I mean, how, how good is that? Oh, it's unbelievable. Uh, Glasgow was great. Uh, we started in Ireland and uh, Leeds, Glasgow. Now we do uh, all British shows now. And what I did on this show was I have a touring band, you know, and we do the regular show. They cut my head off, <laughs> traditional. And when the, when the curtain comes back up, it's the original Alice Cooper band. So I got all the guys from the original band and we do five shows, at, uh, songs at the end of the show. And, and the reason we did that was because Britain was the first place that really supported the original band. And I went, well, we should do this, you know, for, for Britain, the fans in Britain. 